Hello friends and strangers, I am Helly, and this is Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town, where it is day three of summer and no birthdays today. Good morning Magnolia. Snowdrop. I think today we will start by visiting our seasonal gardens. We haven't done that in a few days and I think it's about time to see what's going on. So spring garden first. Aha, uh -huh. we have a turnip harvest here and actually we also had a cucumber harvest, but I didn't notice. Oops. Also, the uh, trees are almost ready for harvest too. Based on the avocados and oranges, one might think they are ready, but the cherries and coffee do not look ripe. So maybe in a couple of days. In the summer garden we have a pumpkin harvest and a corn harvest and some seeds and the trees are ready for harvest here. Um. We already have some corn seeds, so I guess we'll just make pumpkin seeds here. What do we want to sow in those two empty fields? Watermelon at least. Maybe also corn. So that means that since we are using up those corn seeds, we will want to actually make more. There. Now we just need to sow the watermelon and the corn. Corn over here. And the watermelon down here. Now to harvest those trees, lemons, almonds, coconuts, bananas, Peaches, mangoes, and cacao. Uh oh, am I stuck again? Phew, I was afraid I'd got stuck again because of magnolia. Let's go to the autumn garden and I think we'll have enough room in the inventory for these things. After this garden we will definitely need to go to the farm and sort out our inventory. Oops. Hmm. What do we want to sow in place of that spinach? Well, at least we want to make green pepper and spinach seeds. So let's do that. Ah. Well, 
Maybe we'll just have four spinach seeds then. I really don't have the energy to start rearranging it. I'd have to take a couple of the uh, ordinary spinach out of that one seed maker and put one of the hot spinaches into the other seed maker. But uh, it is still very hot in my apartment. We are kind of at the tail end of the heat wave here. The air, out air outside has already started cooling down. But the air inside, well, that kind of takes a little longer. So yeah, feeling quite low energy today because it is still quite hot in here. Hopefully it'll get better soon. Well, it'll have to because the air outside is no longer as hot as it was. Right, let's see what we want to put into the fridge and what we want to sell. Hmm, I think most of these will sell. Maybe even all of these? The eggplant we could keep. The apples and olives. Grapes will sell and mangoes we will sell also. That's quite a lot to, to sell. We should get a bit of money. Yeah. And I actually forgot to check the pumpkins. Do we want to keep or sell? I guess we'll keep. And now to the winter garden. Our last last seasonal garden here. Leeks. Daikon radishes. Napa cabbage. Bok choy and broccoli. Quite a bit to harvest here today. And some seeds. Mm, we already have broccoli seeds, so we don't need to make any more at the moment. And I guess we could leave some leeks here to wait to be turned into seeds. So yeah, we'll make some daikon radish seeds and um, napa cabbage seeds. Hmm, we'll have to once again do it this way. Yeah, one special one and and one ordinary one. And the bok choy. There. That's the winter garden. Oh yeah, we need to sow the burdock. That's the winter garden sorted. Yep. Let's get back to the farm and... Uh, See what we want to do with these goodies from the winter garden. Of course, the special ones go in here. And 
and uh, what about the fridge? What do we want to put in here? The Napa cabbage for sure. Bok choy will sell and broccoli too. Leek will sell as well and daikon radish goes in here. That's that for those. Let's sell these and go look after our animals. There's once again some stuff we need to clear here. And yeah, those trees are somewhat inconvenient actually. I'll have to think of some other kind of decoration. Hmm. Hello, Arlo. Daisy. Ophelia. Fern. Blossom. Willow. Dandelion. Acacia. Cherry. And Ash. Thank you all so much for the fur and wool. Come on out. Hello, Sage. Bluebell. Tanwin. Clementine. Violet. Lunette. Taffy. And Vanilla. Thank you all so much for the milk. Come on out. And now the chickens. Nothing to clear there. Fantastic. Hello Thistle. Mona. Tulip. Anemone. Poppy. Cinnamon. And apricot. Thank you all so much for the eggs. Come on out. Now to process all of that. I don't think we got any milk pluses for Bridget. So we'll just go ahead and make cheese and butter out of all of these. And then mayo out of all of the eggs.
just a couple more and what's the situation here nothing to harvest oh order uh, hmm. okay i actually meant to harvest but fine well that took some effort let's get these seeds and the honey hives make as many of those as we can into honey and put some more flowers to be made into honey right yeah the rest of these we want to store as they are we are kind of starting to have a lot of <laughs> some of these kinds of wool we'll need to think of something to use those for or maybe give them out as gifts Do we want Suffolk cloth? I guess we don't actually. We already have 46. Let's keep on collecting the yarn. Can we make any alternative decorations? to replace those trees with hmm I guess there are some things like benches and the uh, cart that's full of hay over there I Hey, multi-purpose net. Ah, oh, take supple lumber though. I think, do we need that for our next house upgrade? Yeah, cart. It's too bad that it doesn't say here what kind of an area it needs because we need decor that can fit into an area that is only one tile wide if we want to replace those trees solid lumber and blue dye we kind of use the solid lumber for the fishing nets though hmm so there's a conflict there, we'll need to choose whether to make benches or, well I guess if we only make like a couple of benches, it won't take all that much solid lumber. We could do that I guess. And the different kinds of chests only take one space too or are like one, one times one I think so maybe we could kind of use those as well as some sort of decoration we'll see
Right. Let's arrange our inventory a little and then go see the Earth Sprites. I think we may probably, hopefully, have enough inventory space for all the goodies. Especially if we put the fodder away. We'll keep the fodder seeds in our inventory for the uh, time when we need to sow them. We have six new followers for them. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And they also have goodies for us. Oh, bamboo shoot. I think we have those in the fridge someplace. It's going to be pretty tight with the inventory space. Oh yeah, we need to put some tools away. Let's see if four spaces is enough. It was. Now we'll just have to sort things out. What we want to sell and keep and process and give away. Sell these. And the fish. And that log. The comb honey. And the okra. Hey! I think hibiscus was the flower we needed for the flower crown we don't yet have. It's after 6 p.m. though, so the beauty salon won't be open anymore. We'll have to check up on that tomorrow. Those away. And the... Uh, the tools can now go back into our inventory. The logs in here, of course. And actually, while we're here, may as well see about the lumber makers. Replenish them. 64 already. Was our goal 120? I think it was. We are over halfway to 120 durable lumber. Nice. We are getting there. The gold and orichalcum ingots we already have. So it's all about the lumber now. And the money, of course. Once we have those, we'll be able to get the last house upgrade. Let's sort our inventory so that all the gifts are on this row like that and let's go socialize and give gifts for a couple of in-game hours hmm 
of course we'll need to go in here because Jack is our boyfriend of the moment and we need to get him to nine hearts. They are still having dinner or supper, whichever you want to call it. Hello Jack. Have some mayo and Simon I have some honey for you Jesse some honey and Cindy some strawberry daifuku Angela Mayo for you. Okay, that's this house done. Next, we'll go and see Ralph and Nigel. Nigel, hello. I have some mayo for you. And Ralph, I have some soup for you. <laughs> hmm, where to next? I guess the bistro? Oh, Blair has already gone home. Hello Misaki, some mayo. <laughs> Let's catch up with Blair then. There she is. Hello Blair. Some salad for you. Next, maybe the flower shop? Lynn, hi. <laughs> Mayo for you. <laughs> and Nguyen. Mayo for you too. I like how he says thank you, but he does it in a way that kind of quite clearly conveys that he didn't really like the gift. Beauty salon ladies. Karina. Jean. Oh. Oh. And I guess we could go and see about the uh, the uh, fish people here. Emilio, hi. Yeah. Mayo for you. Yeah. Marcos. Uh -huh. Here you go. <laughs> oh, I actually wanted to talk to your wife there. <laughs> Manuela. Mayo for you too. <laughs> Raul. Yeah. Here you go. Yeah. And I guess it's time for us to head home now.
we'll sort our inventory out in the morning. For now, let's just head on indoors and end our walk and wish our cats good night and call it a night ourselves too. Thank you so much for spending time with me here on the Mellow. It was lovely to have you. If you'd like to show some support, please leave this video a like and perhaps a comment too. I'd really appreciate that. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe to conveniently keep up with my content and to show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself, have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.